Democrats are now lashing out at independent presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. after he introduced his running mate, Silicon Valley attorney Nicole Shanahan. Peter Ducey is live at the White House with this. Good morning, Peter. Good morning. With no running mate, RFK Jr. was only eligible to be confirmed on the ballot in one state. That was Utah. But now that he's got a running mate, he can start collecting signatures to get on the ballots in 23 other states. Her name is Nicole Shanahan. And the Democratic Party, I do believe they've lost their way in their leadership. I worry for the party's overwhelming interest in elitism, celebrity, and winning at all costs. And I worry that they do it even if that means turning a blind eye on the issues that they all know to be true. RFK Jr. is pulling 13% in the latest Fox News poll. Democrats are concerned that he is going to sap support away from Biden and throw the election altogether towards Trump. But those complaints aren't really registering. Our values didn't change what the Democratic Party did. The things that we love are still the same. We love our families, our children, and our faith. We love clean air and clean water and productive soils and good food. We love the wilderness and our Purple Mountains majesty. And above all, we love our country. We were in Raleigh, North Carolina with President Biden and Vice President Harris yesterday, and they talk a lot about Trump and about MAGA Republican extremists, but nothing about RFK Jr. There is some reporting out there that President Biden doesn't want to go after him because he doesn't want to offend Ethel Kennedy, RFK's mom, who he considers a friend. But if he continues being such a threat to President Biden's reelection, that will not last long. Back to you. But Peter, it sounds like the entire Kennedy family is going to vote for Joe uh, to, to the horror of RFK Jr. Some family. Uh, I think RFK Jr.'s wife is not uh, <laughs> voting for Joe Biden, but it does seem like the rest of them, they had him here for uh, a St. Patrick's Day celebration. There were dozens of members of the Kennedy family all posing with, a, with President Biden for a photo in the Rose Garden. Uh, we do expect to hear more from them over the next couple months. Uh, but yeah. he's going to be a real headache for Democrats if he continues getting on ballots in states where it is close. And Peter, that is the perfect transition to our next talking point. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thank you, Peter. Peter. Yep, he's a real headache, and that is why that explains why the DNC had a, uh, a conference call. Yeah, and it becomes very clear that they don't like him in the race because he will siphon votes away from Joe which ultimately could tilt the balance of power toward Trump. Yeah, uh, Peter had the poll in his uh, in his little in his report that he just did. And when it's a three way matchup, when it's two when it's a two way matchup, uh, President Trump versus President Biden, Trump beats Biden by one point six percent. When it's a three way matchup, Trump beats Biden by over five percentage points. This has the other uh, third party candidates in it as well. So you could see why the DNC and the Biden campaign are what is being described as in panic mode right now. Because of the initial thought, here's an example. Here's the state senator, Mallory uh, McMorrow, says this. Him being in the race means that there is a greater likelihood that Donald Trump will become president again. Kennedy should be smart enough to know better. But I don't think he does. I think his ego's in the way. Now, the problem is, and the reason why uh, this is another congressman, say Congressman Mark Garcia says, I'm personally offended and just disgusted by his campaign. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I didn't know he needed your approval. Right now, he's only on in, in <laughs> Utah. But he's got to do a special thing for almost every state. And he's got a team doing it, mm -hmm. one of which is get a running mate. Mm -hmm. He did not necessarily want to do a running mate now. No. But for some reason, for without established parties, you in one of these states, they want to see your running mate. I, the easy ticket for him would be liber, uh, the libertarian ticket. Mm -hmm. They're on all 50 states. If they would accept him, yeah. then it's game on for him. Well, Brian, I, I think it that issue alone goes to the problem with the Democrats. If they would have just had a legitimate debate with RFK, this wouldn't be a problem. He just wanted a legitimate primary, right. and he would have went away if he lost. But they suppressed it. They didn't want any debates. They didn't want any conversation. But I think the real uh, headline is what's going on in the New York Times. They said Obama is fearing Biden lost to Trump and is on the phone to strategize. And apparently, he's not just talking to Joe Biden. He's talking to the chief of staff every day. Right. And the former president doesn't have any confidence right now
that Joe Biden can win. So whether it is Obama or all the former staffers that are saying this, they're saying that the key to Joe Biden winning is the surrogates. Yeah. Get Obama back on the road. Yep. It doesn't say inspiring. And, we, you know, we heard after his big speech at the State of the Union that he was strong, he was alert. This is a guy that's loud. Ready to lead, loud and ready to lead the party. But apparently whatever they gave him or whatever strategies they used to make him so loud he has worn off. Didn't yeah. have it yesterday. You know? But he it is funny his the, way through the it. Democrats are calling uh, Kennedy. They said that Kennedy, uh, Trump is, uh, they called Kennedy Trump with Kennedy's name slapped on him. And then a Trump super PAC mm. called him a far left radical. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like right. well, neither wants to claim him as theirs. Yeah. Well, in naming her as his running mate, uh, he thinks he's going to get some of the Google money, yep. you know, and, and people tied to that uh, sphere and young people because mm -hmm. he even said, RFK did yesterday, he said, I'm looking to uh, speak as find a voice yeah. for the millennials and the Gen Zers. Right. And she donated and a lot said. of money. Well, for she that paid for that Super Bowl. Super Bowl ad. Ad. Yep, yeah. exactly. She also gave $150,000 to George Gascon out in LA, mm. the soft on crime prosecutor. Mm. Very interesting. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.